have the new stripes acclimating. These are shadow pandas. All right, just got her mail. And I know what this is. It's a box of shrimp from Florida to Washington State. So better get this open right away. We ship Monday and today's Wednesday. That's a nice little uh, styrofoam container. Let's do some water temperature test. Says it's about 70 degrees inside there. Moment of truth. Oh, they got their double bag. One time, remember I had that bag break open? And all the shrimp were dead because there was no water in the bag. It was horrible. All right, what, is, what do we got here? Oh, do you see any shrimp in here? All right, let's put these in their containers. Let me check the water temperature now that they're out of the bags. Came in at 70 degrees. 69 degrees. Oh, these are their, um, I think these are red wines right here. They're going to be so cool. As usual, I don't even know which, I have an idea which tank to put these in, but I'm not sure yet. I'm going to make some room in my sink. I'm soaking some, some wood here, trying to get some tannins out. We're going to pour the shrimps out here in these two containers, and then we're going to start doing water tests. I'm going to check their TDS, pH, other water parameters. Make sure they're not too far off the tank that they're going in. All right, guys. I'll put who the uh, breeder is in the comments below. So be sure to rate the video. Click that thumbs up button. You gotta be careful you don't get um, shrimp or frequently stuck up here. So you gotta watch that. If you've seen my other videos, I always take this, I always take this, and then um, see if there's anything hiding up in here. Check the bag because look here, we got a shrimp holding on. We're gonna look for some more stragglers. That looks empty. Let's check these guys out and see if I can zoom in here. These are red wine shrimps. Or wine red shrimp. So, very cool. Let's open the next one. Here we have some shadow pandas. Check that guy out. That's a nice looking guy. All right, let's start uh, water testing and acclimating. TDS is 152. 
and one one thirty four. So my TDS is a little higher than that. Uh, let me go figure out what tank these guys are going in. So here we are. We have um, test trips. Also testing ammonia over here. Should be yellow. Looking like they might be yellow. Uh, the pink is the nitrates. I'm gonna do a little water change on on these uh, three tanks. But otherwise, see the pH is about the same. This one's a little higher. So these four equals these four tanks here. These are all the Caradina tanks with the um, low pH. Oh, and these two are the ones the shrimp just came in, and these are mine. So everything matches up pretty good. The brown is the GH. So he has a little, um, water's a little harder than mine. We have pretty soft water here. All right, it's time to check the ammonia levels. Put them on a white background. Should be yellow. Looks like I got some nitrate levels in three of these tanks here. So I'm gonna, it matches what those uh, test pads show. So, that's about 20, these are a little bit high. So anyways, let's get in here and do some water changes and work on the uh, adding the new shrimp. Okay, but here's the good news. All the all four of these tanks do test zero for nitrites, so that's nice. I'm working on some water changes. I'm taking one and a half or two gallons out of each tank, and you know, up here is my uh, here's my milk jugs because I drip the water back in. I always drip the water back in shrimp. When I used to just pour it in, I'd have these mystery deaths, and I wouldn't know why. But since I drip the water back in the tanks, that never happens. All right, back to work. This is what it looks like when I'm filling up four tanks at once. They're all... Dripping. One or two drops a second across here. And then here are the uh, rural blues that I'm moving to a new home. So we'll actually be able to see them. Uh, I'm actually been planning this ever since I got them to move them. So now it's finally the time their tank is ready. And that tank's been cycling for probably about two months. It's got a lot of tannins in it too. All right, now let's start acclimating all this just to acclimate the, the new shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and start now. All right, here we have the new shrimps acclimating. These are shadow pandas. And over here are red wine. Seems like this has been an all day process, but I'm about to put my new shrimps in their homes. These are the wine red or red wine icon. I see some are darker than others here. They're gonna go in here with the Thai bees for a time being. If they did cross though, I wonder what the cross would look like. Guys, post below. We, we have um, a red wine Thai bee. So they're going to go in this tank right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next up are the shadow pandas. I don't know how these ever came to be. Blue and black, it's an awesome combination. I actually had one of these before that uh, Plamsky slipped in with the uh, blue bolts I got from him. 
which are pretty awesome. And I just like love these guys. And I was thinking, I need to get some more of these. Check this out, blue and black. And if they start losing their blue, check your TDS. Same way with the blue bolts. Uh, they really can be dependent on the um, the TDS level. I say put your TDS uh, 150 or below for the blue to really shine. Check out these guys and their new home. Oh man, you know I'm excited. We're gonna be getting some uh, 4K video on these guys. Again, Plamsky doesn't disappoint. Let's check out the Shadow Pandas in their new home. Beautiful. Here's one of my blue bolts. Pretty white, but I'm still lowering the TDS in this tank. This food is Shrimp King complete. I'm switching this up with the SL Aqua Snow, are my current two main foods. Blue and black, amazing. This is their this is their temporary home until their other tank. Until their other tank's ready. It's been cycling for like a month, but there's still a lot of algae in there, and I'm gonna I'm probably gonna have it cycle another three or four weeks before I move these guys. Well, is there a fight here? Giant blue bolts being territorial. But this food breaks up pretty easy, so they can take a chunk and, and swim away to safety. Doesn't dissolve as quick, look at that guy, he's got a chunk right there. Doesn't dissolve as quick as uh, the snow does. That's just amazing. Did you see that video I did? I did a fast forward of the snow dissolving in less than two minutes. I thought it was pretty cool. These guys got to put up with this giant <laughs> blue bow there. It's taking charge. Oh, one's on their back. Oh, yeah. Take that. How cool. How cool is that? Guys, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. I got tons more videos. I, you know, I have about 600 videos on YouTube. That guy, that guy's got some nice black on him.